guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video really really appreciate it but my intention for this video is for you to know a few things about this particular challenge because quite frankly some of the things on this particular challenge didn't go quite to plan and you know you know me I'm very transparent I have to let my sister know so if you hang on I'll let you know exactly what happened and we'll be doing a length check a bit later on so if you're interested to know a little bit more about this Aveda black rice hair growth challenge stay tuned so first things first the hair can you see how big my hair is? Can you just, it's like, it's one big afro. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Charlie. I haven't actually picked my hair out with uh, my afro pick because as you can see, it's already big. It will just be humongous and I don't want that. I do like voluptuous hair, lots of volume, but I just thought it was gonna be a little bit ridiculous. I don't want to look like, you know, the French poodle. This particular hair challenge was very challenging so it was a 30-day challenge and what I'd done is I'd put together an Avedic and black rice pre-poo mixed all these lovely Avedic powders together with black rice water and I also put together a really great leave-in condition it was a black rice leave-in condition it had things like fenugreek which I know would have nourished my hair so if you just bear with me I'll tell you the story. I went on holiday in the month of June and I left my hair out to roast. My hair was burning. <laughs> so I started to do the challenge on the 1st of July. Just like I said, I was dedicated to the routine and I really wanted to make a massive difference with my hair. I wanted to get lots of moisture into my hair. So I was doing the pre-poos. So the pre-poos helped me with detangling. It was decreasing the amount of shedding I had. I had limited amount of shedding. It went down to almost zero. Then I was doing the daily spraying into my scalp with the black rice fenugreek. I really felt the leave-in was amazing for my hair. It was strengthening my hair. It was really giving me and helping me with the length retention. And it was helping defining my curls. My curls were just popping. On top of the burning of the holiday that I went on, the UK had some really ridiculously high temperatures. Where the problem lied and where the challenge was, was that it was summer. Yeah, that's right. S-U-M-M-E-R. Summer. You see, I wasn't prepared for the sun, even though I'd done the challenge so that I could add more moisture to my hair. So very, very quickly, I noticed I started to get a lot of single strand knots. Probably the worst time I've ever had. Give me a moment. So the single strand knots led me to having to search and destroy or just trim the areas that needed, I needed to just cut off those knots. But seriously, my hair was so dry, it wasn't doing anything that I wanted to, it, it needed to be under submission. So what I thought was the best thing for me to do on day 16, I said enough is enough, put down your tools and I stopped doing the challenge so I stopped at day 16 so I stopped at day 16 because I thought the amount of protein in the black rice water may add to the hair that was already completely parched it could actually make my hair so dry that my hair would actually break off <clears throat> I wasn't going to do that okay so I have actually trimmed my hair I've trimmed my hair in different areas I will have to go back and trim all of my hair again and of course if you've been watching me you would have known that I have actually um, cut my fringe. So I am gonna do a length check, although I kind of like feel like it's not, it's not worth it. But just, we wanna see, we just wanna see what happened in the 16 days. <laughs> if we got anything, my guess is it's either at the same place or it's a little bit, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put on the t-shirt, here it is, eh? We're just gonna see, I mean, we, we have no expectation, okay? Anyway, let me stop talking and then get on with it, okay? Okay, okay, I have the beautiful t-shirt on, you can see. Okay, so that's when I first started the challenge. For those of you that don't know, okay, the reason why it's lopsided, okay, it's not me, it's because this side of my hair grows faster than this side. You know what? My hair is definitely grown. You can see the body. Yeah, come on, tell me in the comments. Can you see? My hair looks bigger. It's definitely grown. One of the things I love about this black rice and Aveda challenge is that it definitely has given me lots of body. My hair looks a lot, lot bigger. It feels stronger. So let me get in place. 
So we can do this. Okay. Where are we going? Yeah. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's probably at the same. Is that this? Uh, just a little bit over. But that means that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what it would have been like if I'd have continued? It would have been a lot longer than that. I'm not going to bother doing this side because it's a lot shorter and basically my hair hasn't grown as fast. I'm definitely not going to be doing my fringe because I've cut my fringe. So the 16 days didn't particularly do anything, I don't think. it. Uh, I chopped off all that I'd grown, maybe, but it was what I needed to keep my hair healthy. Remember, it's health over length. We want healthy hair. What I had to do to get my hair back to, you know, stop being rebellious, I'll wake up and do what I say. So all I did was I watched my hair. Now this is a secret. I literally listened to my hair. Not listen like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about literally watching how my hair is. How does it react? What does it need? And you've really got to listen to your hair. You've really got to know what your hair wants. What does it need? And I worked out that my hair needs to be immersed in water every four days. I noticed that when I did my wash and go, by the fourth day, it's getting really dry. It's starting to tangle up. It's losing its luster. It's not as glossy. It's very, very frizzy. And it's definitely tangling up on itself underneath here. Even if I have my hair up in a bun, in a protective style, I notice my hair is just not the same after day four. For some, it might mean you have to do a pre-poo before shampooing your hair and making sure you're taking time when you're detangling. For others, it might mean you have to do a hot oil treatment during the midweek, or it might be just as simple as your hair needs to be in protective styles all the time, like completely. So I wanted to make this video just to hopefully answer some of your questions because sometimes I just, I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers for you. I wish I did. I wish I had the answers like, oh, let me just see in my book. Mm, let me see. Mm. Okay, you have to do this. And then for some of you, you've had some incredible hair growth on these challenges. And I just, thank you so much guys that who've been joining me in all of these challenges. It's really been fun because hearing the interaction with you has made it so much better for me. Because sometimes I just want to be a lazy natural. Do you know what I mean? Just lazy. In my last video, I told you guys that I'm going to be doing another challenge. And the reason why I want to do this next challenge is because and keep to it is because the summer i have not been prepared for this summer so my next video i'll be showing you what i've been doing recently my little diy and this hair growth challenge can be another one that we can add to our hair journey so waist length is my goal what is your goal i am looking to get to waist length i'm not gonna give myself to like a date because you know there's sometimes you have setbacks like my holiday. And to be quite honest, I think it's quite nice not to have any pressure on having a date like by Tuesday the 7th of October at 4.38, I'm going to have hair down my back. I mean, it's a bit unrealistic, I mean, come on. And you don't want the pressure, so we are gonna monitor ourselves month by month. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a little chatty one, you know. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you've had any challenges in this last challenge that we've had. Is there anything that set you back? Did you like or you didn't like? Did you take out? Let's continue with this forum where we're really helping each other. Thank you so much to so many of you, my online friends. Guess what, we're nearly at 10,000. We're nearly at 10,000. I will be giving a 10,000 giveaway and I'm guessing it's gotta be a kind of a juicy one. You know, it's gotta be worth it. So don't forget to have your notifications on. And I wanna say hi to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the Mel's World fam. I hope you won't be disappointed. And of course, if you, you're new here and you haven't subscribed, you are rude subscribe now. Guys, I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you again in my next one. Don't forget, God really loves you. You take care now and God bless you. Bye.